My son has a crush on you. And what? You make my day. What do you mean? Really? Oh, yeah. He's, he's more excited that I'm here yeah. than anything I've ever done. Why didn't you bring him? Because he's in school. School schmool. I know. I mean, honestly. I should have made his day, right? You should have made his day, and you've kept him from me. A fan. I'm sorry. You kept a fan from me. Here's a funny thing. People often tell me I look like you. Really? Yes, but I think you look like Kate Walsh. Do you hear that a lot? You know what? Recently, I've been hearing that. Huh. I, you know, for years, I hadn't. I hadn't. Maybe it's because we have the same hair guy. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Did she take your hair guy? No. Wouldn't it be weird if another person, like, little by little, tried to become you? Like, you know, you're famous. That would be weird. But, right? I mean, there, there are those people out there who have plastic surgery to try and look like a celebrity or something, you know? If there was one part of you, internal or external, yes. that you could just, like, wholesale get it taken out and put in a new one, what would it be? My nose. The heck is wrong with your nose? You asked. <laughs> And this is called a follow-up question. I'm just saying, um, what's wrong? It, you know, it's it's got character. Actually, my very first movie I ever did, A Walk in the Clouds, with Keanu Reeves, I was standing 50-50 with him, and you know how beautiful he is, and perfect he's pretty he is. Good looking. He's very beautiful. And the director screamed, how quickly can we get a plastic surgeon here? Her nose is ruining my movie. Oh, my God, what's wrong True with story. people? True story. Can you forgive me? Yeah. Sure. No irony there? No, no, and he just sat there for like, and had like a temper tantrum for like 10 minutes and everyone just sort of looked around like, did, what are we gonna do? Did you dissolve in a puddle of tears? Yeah. I mean, what? I, I mean, it was my first movie. And I called, I called my agents in New York. I said, I, I think I'm just meant for theater. <laughs> yeah, I'm not cut out for this business at all. <laughs> like, so you have been at it for ever. Um, Okay, well, yeah, good luck, you had a good, really healthy career. Even though um, Will and Grace, the TV show was on almost 20 years ago, is that the one that people still oh say, God. hey, it's Grace? I will be Grace until the day I die, and I'm, I love that, and I'm proud of it, and you know, it was a very, very special show and a special time. But it's, it, now it's generational. Like, now I have people in their 20s saying, oh my God, Smash! It takes years to develop a musical. In your role as Grace, and then of course in your subsequent roles, people always say, you know, she's so relatable. What does that mean in one actress? There's some relatable. When I watch an actress who I think is relatable, it's usually, it's usually an actress who allows herself to look stupid. Oh. And allows herself to look ugly. You're beautiful. Uh, no, no, I'm Grace. Uh, but you bad. wouldn't look ugly, you couldn't. And I'm not oh, flattering honey. you. Oh, honey. No, come Oh, on. yes. No, oh, you, oh, you come, oh. You're good, Jean. You're good. Oh, no, but I, you know, I've, I've done it. I've done it on camera. It's, it's, you know, for a laugh, I'll do anything. Okay, so the mystery of Laura. What's Laura's mystery? Well, every episode she has a murder mystery she has to solve. Well, what's her Her mystery, mystery is, you know, how, how the hell am I going to juggle all of these 17 hats that I have in the, in the air. Get ready to be inside for a very long time. Sorry, Mommy. Being a, a detective and being a single mom, working mom of twins, Ugh. working with my ex-husband. This is parenting, Jake, not Pilates. It's a lot. That is a lot. Yes. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. Yeah, so that's the mystery. How is she going to do it? And not always well, which is what makes it fun. How about your mystery? I don't like people. <laughs> I'm taking that one personally. People in the plural, like lots oh. of people, big, yeah. you know, yeah. <laughs> because what? They're loud and pushy nice. and, you know, I just like, they're on me and I'm just they're like, you. you know what, let's just, let's get space. Space. Space, man. Space. Yeah, Look man. This. Even if you weren't a popular actress, you're tall, you're red, you're, you know, yeah. you're striking. So, hey, I'm trying to make television <laughs> here. Don't you understand? She's going to get you. He has a penis complex. You have a penis complex. <sighs> what? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Which is a perfect segue. I mean, there is like no good segue into why you're well, really no, here. No, well, we, we, you know what a good segue would be? Do it. It's supposed to be spring. It's supposed to be spring, but we're wearing gloves and hand warmers. Right? It's not spring. But what happens in May? 
allergies come. That's right, and what do you do? And flowers bloom, which is a beautiful thing, but it makes people like me, you know, sneeze and face puff up and eyes water, and it's sexy. very ugly. It's, oh, it's so not sexy, it's okay. really ugly. Give me your allergy voice. Well, I mean, if you were wearing cashmere right now, it would just happen right away. I'd, I'd be like, hey, how are you doing, cat? Wow. Like, like, yeah. That's a little sexy. But you know what? I found I found something that works for me, Zyrtec. Okay. And I take it every morning, and it lasts for 24 hours, and now I'm I'm set. Well, hey man, I'm so glad that you are feeling well. Thank and, you. Um, I know you hate me, so I'm not. I'm just I cheer. don't hate you. you. I told you, you, you I was people. a one-on-one -on -one person. Okay. This but... makes me happy. Oh. Me aim to please. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me.